My category uh, in the show is digital photography. I like to layer multiple things together into one image. In the old days, we used to use film. And in the past 20 years, you know, everything in photography has moved towards digital. And what that has really allowed me to do is to, you know, be a lot more in depth. About five years ago, I had just finished uh, reading the David McCullough biography. And I thought, well, I've never been to Huffman Prairie. So I just decided one afternoon to drive out there. I'm a photographer, so I took my camera with me. I took 16 photographs, <laughs> so not very many. But then I started doing some research about it. The Wright family donated all of family records to the Library of Congress, and, and that included the diaries, but also included all their photographs. That was when I really fully realized that they were really photographers. Here are these 100-year-old photographs, historic photographs. We have taken a photograph, one sixtieth of a second. Okay, now we have frozen that, that moment in time. So I've kind of taken those two time points and, and merged them together. It allows me to really play with things. It's one of those photographs is called horse-drawn carriage. It's a photograph that has, you know, very fancy uh, horse-drawn carriages with, with Wilbur flying over the top of them. Well, uh, I met a gentleman in France, uh, Paul Millard, who is the Wright Brothers expert in France. So he took me to the locations where Wilbur flew. And so what I decided to do was take the horse-drawn carriage and put it on the modern road and play with those those elements, okay, what's old, what's new. The one photograph that I think is kind of uh, the iconic photograph of the series is titled Flight 85. And it's really a very simple photograph, but it's out at Huffman Prairie. I went back, you know, kind of at the same time of the year so that the trees really just play together and, you know, I was able to merge the horizon lines. There's one little light streak of, of light coming through the clouds. It's really a very simple one, but it's, it's, it, that's one of my favorites. People seem to be engaged with this series. I want people to, to be able to find it. I want, be able to, I want them to engage with it. I want them to interact with it. You know, I decided early on in the process to add a written narrative to each photograph that I thought tied, you know, the old photograph, the new photograph, tied things together a little bit. I just decided to take that body of work and then, and then put it into the book. So each spread has the photograph and then it has my, my interpretation of the photograph, it has the history of, of the historic photograph, and then it also talks about my interaction, you know, how I got there, what happened in my interpretation of what I think the new photograph is. So that's, that's what the book is really about. And there's 27 uh, finished images in the book. You know, there's the Outer Banks, Kitty Hawk, Washington, D.C. I went to, went to Detroit to do one photograph. I went to two locations in France. I did write the foreword about my dad. And my dad was a World War II veteran. He flew in a little plane. My dad was an amateur photographer, so this is a photograph he took during World War II. And somehow he managed to get a camera with film. He said, yeah, I set up a tent one day at two o'clock in the morning, found chemicals and processed the film and made prints. So the foreword is about my dad. But then it also is about my dad and how that led me to be a photographer. So, you know, I really uh, am thankful for the, for the, for, you know, being able to, you know, show these things, you know, in this format. Because, yeah, I think it, 
I think people get, they get something out of it.